Hi guys and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So here we have something rather interesting to show you. Now this is the Vivid Unit, which is a versatile single board computer with included 5.5 inch color touchscreen. Now this thing is packed with features including Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth for connectivity. It also has two times 3.1 Gen 1 USB ports along with two USB 2 ports and one USB-C port for power. Now talking of power, the Vivid unit can also be powered over Ethernet using a suitable PoE network switch. GPIO ports include a Raspberry Pi compatible 40 pin header, SPI, I2C, UART and SDIO, all on board as standard. Also on board as standard is a microphone, a built-in speaker, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket and an HDMI output, which is located on the top. Now you can also add NVMe M.2 devices for extra storage, and that's alongside the onboard 32 gigabyte of eMMC storage. A Mali T860 MP4 GPU is also on board, and this provides performance enhancement for your applications. The SDR application that I'll show you actually uses this to make sure that it runs nice and smoothly. Now it does come with Debian 11 Bullseye pre-installed and it boots up really quickly. Of course, as it runs Debian, there'll be thousands of applications already compatible with the Vivid unit. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because the designers of the Vivid unit, Ugear, have now released an add-on board, which is essentially an RTL SDR. Now this is called the VU GPSDR. Now it not only does it have an RTL SDR on board, it also has an up converter built in, meaning you can receive HF right up to 1.7 gigahertz. Ugear have also compiled a special version of SDR++ for this specific device, which we'll take a closer look at shortly. Now also on board the VU GPSDR, you'll see a GPS receiver and GPS antenna. Now this works in conjunction with GPSDR++, their version of SDR++. And the local oscillator, an SI5351, is actually driven by a 24 MHz PPS from the GPS. The single antenna connection is in the form of an SMA socket. And next to that, there's another SMA socket, which is a software adjustable clock output. Now to attach the VU GPSDR board to the Vivid main unit, you do need the extender board. There's also four cables which are supplied that need to be attached to the extender board and then connected to the Vivid unit board. Then the extender board simply pushes down over that 40 pin header and some data and USB headers. Now once the extender board is connected and in place, you can then install the GPSDR board by sliding it into this edge connector and then just using the provided screws to hold it down in place. Now, once all the hardware is all together, you will need to install the software. And on the website, there's a guide which goes through just a few commands which need to be entered into a terminal window. Now, these will install the relevant GPU drivers and the GPS DRPP application, which is specifically compiled for this hardware. Now, you can either SSH program like PuTTY or just connect a mouse and keyboard and do it all on screen. Now, once the software is installed, you can then start that GPS DRPP application, and it looks like this. Like I said, it's been designed with a portable operation in mind using the touch screen, and you can also use the encoders on the top left and right of the Vivid unit to control the SDR software. On the bottom left of the SDR software screen, you'll see some arrows left and right, which let you go through a couple of different modes. Now there is a GPS screen, which will show you how well the connected GPS antenna is working. Now you can actually connect an active GPS antenna to that connection on the board. So you don't have to use the attached GPS antenna if you don't want to. Now another screen within this special version of SDR++ is a MODES or ADSB screen. Now with the map selected, instead of the waterfall, you'll start to see any aircraft that's been detected 
plotted onto a map and they will update their positions in real time. So think of it as a portable aircraft tracker. As it has GPS, it will actually center the map over your location. Now the antenna port on the GPSDR does not have bias T. So if you're using an ADS-B antenna or an LNA in line, then you will need to supply your own bias T to power them. Now that goes for anything that you add onto it, like LNAs or filters that require power. Another screen you can select is the clock output control. Now here you can choose a drive level and a frequency from a preset list of frequencies. Now, while this version of SDRPP has been designed for the VU unit, you can still access all of the controls we've seen on the original version of SDR++. However, you can hide these away and just use the main radio control screen that you saw a moment ago. Now, the internal speaker on the VU unit is a little small, and as a result of this, the audio does sound a little tinny, not much mid-range or bass. Also, as the GPSDR is primarily designed to be used portable, let's perform some tests using the telescopic antenna on my window ledge just to see how well it receives. OK, so reception seems very good even with a telescopic antenna indoors just by the window. Now the telescopic antenna I used for this was probably just only a meter in length when fully extended. Now as you heard, the internal speaker does sound a little thin, but you do have a couple of options here to improve that sound quality. You can either use the onboard 3.5 mil headphone socket, or you can use Bluetooth. So take a listen to this with a VU unit connected to my Bluetooth speaker. QRZ, Yankee United, 5 America. Z, too much splattering on the frequency. QRZ, Yankee Uniform, 5 America. KO4, India Delta, Charlie, 5915. QSF, Delta, Fox 0, Hotel Quebec. This is um, Delta, America 2, Mexico, Mexico, over. Charlie, Sierra 2, Florida, correct me, 5915, so you'll thank you, good luck. Thank you, contest, Oscar, Echo 5, Tango. Oscar, Echo 5, Tango. Radio. Zulu Alpha, strich OE8 NDR. Und da rief noch einer aus England. Island, England, please come in. Boah, somebody else was calling in between. I have uh, United Sierra 2 X-rays, correct? Contest, Oscar Echo 2 Sugar, Oscar Echo 2 Sierra, contest. Well, that sounds a lot better. You may have heard the onboard fan kick in two, which can be a little loud as there's no case on the rear of the VU unit. But the clarity from the demodulation is perfect. No issues at all when using Bluetooth or an external speaker. Now, if you're wondering, the built-in up converter for HF reception automatically kicks in when tuning to lower than 30 MHz when using the GPS DRPP software application. One thing to mention about this current version of the GPS DR is that it's very, very sensitive, which makes it work well with the telescopic antenna with portable use in mind. However, if you do connect it up to an efficient HF antenna, like an NFED half-wave antenna, then for me, I actually had to add some attenuators in line to stop any of the front end overloading. Now I use between 10 and 20 dB here. However, with future releases, there may be a redesign to account for use with larger, more efficient antennas. Mike, Tango, Mike, 595. CQ, Radio Uniform 1 Alpha, Radio United 1 Alpha. CQ Contest, Fox Rod 6 Kilo, Oscar Papa. CQ Contest, Papa 33 Whiskey, Papa 33 Whiskey. As the VU unit is Linux based, this means we can run all the Linux RTL SDR software packages that are available to desktop users. One of these applications is called RTL 433, which connects directly to the onboard RTL SDR GPSDR board and then shows the usual data. Now I do have some videos on the channel about RTL 4.3 if you need some more information about it, but essentially it's an application that will decode and display data received from devices like weather stations, remote buttons, tire pressure sensors, and so forth. Now at the time of making this video, there was no case or battery options supplied by the website, but they do have plans and are actively working on this so we may see something come in the near future. Now they are dedicated to making this one of the best single ball computers 
with SDL support and they are based in the Netherlands if you're wondering. Well, there we go, guys. That's the Vivid unit with the VU GPSTR available from UGear. Now, if you order from the website directly, it is available from quite a few various places around the world. But if you order directly from their website and use discount code TECHMINES, all in one word, you'll get five euros off each GPSDR that you order. So it's definitely worth ordering directly from their website as they do ship worldwide. Anyway, let us know what you think about this down in the comments below. I think it's a great start from this company of dipping their toes into the STR world. And, well, things can only get better. Until the next video, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video.